interested in cybersecurity and ethical hacking, make sure to watch this video till end. You will learn top hacking tools every ethical hacker must know to identify exploitable vulnerabilities. This video is for educational purpose to raise awareness about cyber threats. Nmap, short for Network Mapper, is a powerful open source tool used for network exploration and security auditing. It helps hackers discover open ports, find vulnerabilities, and map networks. Ethical hackers use Nmap to identify potential weaknesses in a system defenses. Let's run Nmap on my machine. sudo nmap-sv props target port to determine running services in a target, dash o operating system detection of target, IP address of the target, and dash pn skip host discovery. The output shows the operating system and open ports on the machine. Metasploit is a widely used penetration testing framework. It allows security professionals to simulate attacks and test the vulnerabilities of system. Metasploit framework is pre-installed in Kali Linux. In Kali Linux terminal, sudo msfdb init, start the service, it will initialize the database if it is a first time. You can use sudo msfdb start for starting Metasploit framework. Metasploit framework uses PostgreSQL and it is launched with a start or init commands. To check the status, use the sudo msfdb status command and to connect to Metasploit console, use sudo msfconsole-q. To get started, use help to view the a list of commands. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer that captures and examines network traffic in real time. It is also called packet sniffing tool as it allows hackers to analyze packets and inspect data being transmitted on the network. Ethical hackers leverage Wireshark to detect suspicious activities, analyze network protocol, and uncover potential security breaches. In Kali Linux, tools, click on a sniffing and a spoofing, then Wireshark. You also could start it on terminal by writing just Wireshark. In Wireshark GUI, select the network interface and start capturing traffic. You can see its source and destination IP addresses, network protocol, length of packet, and some information. By clicking on each packet, you see the details information in each packet in hex.decimal. You can run Wireshark for a specific time and save the captured traffic into a PCAP file to be inspected by IDS or IPS tools. SNORT is an open source intrusion prevention system. It is a defensive tool and could stop malicious traffic. It's not pre-installed in Kali Linux, so you can install it with app install snort in Kali and any Linux distribution. You can check a snort configuration and rules by sudo snort-t-c and pass to a snort configuration. A snort-h display a snort usage and options. To start packet sniffing, you can simply run a snort or run it by passing some arguments. sudo snort-v verbes d um, dump application layer and e display second layer header information and dash c pass to the rule file. This check every packet and if they are matched with exploit signature or rules it will send alert. Nessus is a remote security scanning tool. Nessus Essential is a free version of Nessus that is useful for practice. You can install it on any Linux distribution and use it via GUI. 
First, log in into Nessus built in your environment. My scan and all scans are the folders to store the scan results. Under resources, you can create a new policy or choose a policy from pre-installed templates. Some templates require Nessus Pro subscriptions. You also could create custom plugin rules for your scan. Now let's create a new scan. Click on new scan, select policy from template, add name and description, select the folder to store scan result, and then add the target host. You can add the IP address or DNS name of one target or multiple targets in the target box, or add a target file. Make sure you have permission to perform a scan on the target host. The scan could be on demand or you schedule it. Let's launch or a scan. It takes few minutes to complete. You can launch the same scan multiple times. To see the scan result, click on the scan name. On the right side, you see the scan details and the heat map of the scan result. Heatmap is based on vulnerability severity score. Click on vulnerabilities. The vulnerability are listed based on their severity score. You can click on each to see the result. It was our top five hacking tools you must know. These tools are widely used by security professionals to identify vulnerabilities and protect systems. Remember, Hacking into someone's system without explicit permission is illegal. Always explore these tools responsibly and ethically. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay secure, stay protected.